Hello and welcome to our video cast on the new Somatic S7-1200 compact controller. My name is Paul Ruin from Siemens Industry in the USA. This is part four of our multi-part series on the Somatic S7-1200 compact controller. This session is going to focus on project-wide cross-referencing made easy. And with our Step 7 basic software for the S7-1200, this includes both controller and HMI programming in one software, one user program. So it has a lot of powerful cross-referencing and diagnostic tools both HMI and controller logic. To get started, our program task for today is going to troubleshoot the controller and HMI logic that we previously developed in the prior parts of this videocast series. And we're going to be able to cross-reference them together, not only offline, but online as well. To show you how we do that, we're going to open our existing project that we've been developing in the previous parts, Project 1. And this has both um, logic for the controller and visualization for the HMI. In this particular case, we're just going to go right into our PLC program and go right into our main block. And then from this point, we can look at uh, what we've developed and see where it's being used in other parts of the system-wide project, not only in the logic, but in the HMI. And from here, our start-stop sealant circuit that we previously did, we can go to Info and then to Cross-Referencing and s click on any one of these elements and see where it's used. And you can see we've got it here, here, and then as well, it's a pilot light on our root screen of our HMI project. So if we click on that, it's all contact sensitive hyperlink. It goes right to the HMI project and um, highlights it and provides the properties, accessibility for anything we want to change on that particular element. So, you know, if we had a problem that we wanted to reassign a tag or anything like that, we can do that as well. Uh, similarly, from the HMI, we have this toggle switch, and we can click on its info and its cross-reference, and we can see that it was linked to uh, this particular network, too, in our main project, and that was where our HMI start um, tag was being utilized on this wiper control library. We can also do this online by clicking on the online monitoring glasses, and it's going to link to our uh, controller and our HMI, both at the same time here and we can see where the elements are being used. We can highlight the power flow and continue with the cross-referencing capability that we showed you um, online in tests as well. So in our start-stop sealant circuit, we can start it. And the light goes on. We can see that on our runtime screen as well, if we choose. And then we can cross-reference it over to where it's being used in the HMI. In the screen there. As I mentioned, we can uh, use the screen in runtime on the PC itself. So it has simulation capability right on the PC for the screen project, and we can see that it's illuminated. So you got a lot of powerful debugging tools, you know, right at the software connected to the controller without having to use the devices in the machine or system by themselves. Additionally, you can control the wiper as we mentioned. We can go toggle back to the project. We can see that it is activated here. Its info and cross-reference are all back to the root screen. Highlights that in the offline mode, and we can make any changes we want there as well. So, the benefits of the project-wide cross-referencing in our Step 7 basic software for the S7-1200 include the capability to troubleshoot the complete controller and HMI logic together. No consuming opening and closing of separate development applications, separate software packages to find out where your problem is in a you know, startup of a machine or a process. Um, all hyperlink tag usage of all the tags in the controller and the HMI screen easily navigate between the two to um, duplicate any troubleshooting problems, saves a lot of time and cost for you know the efforts in going to two development softwares for those tasks. User-friendly software, very intuitive, easy navigation, reduces the possibility of errors and typing. Uh, System-wide, it's one programming software, one user program for logic, HMI, and networking. Greatly reduces engineering time, costs, much easier to maintain and reuse logic. Uh, with all Siemens product, the S7-1200 included, and the Step 7 Basic, it's a uh, global product line, worldwide approved, accepted across the industry. The S7-1200 is designed on S7 core technology, so it's future-proof, sustainable, easy to migrate, standardized, and benefit. Thank you for attending our videocast today, and hope you will view future videocasts on this series.